<laughs> are we are you filming already? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay. I give you this jersey. Well, this is for you. It's not my name because I'm not a player, I don't have name. Same. So I give this for you. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mopi. Holy, this is how it feels to win scrims. John's Pizzeria? I mean, I'll tell you once I eat this fucking pizza. Let's go. How was your first New York pizza experience? Great, but I'm so tired now. Right. They call them tired. Yeah. Pizza mine. Good? Yeah. I think I need pizza. Ooh, I love New York. It is uh, just the right energy. It feels like we're at the World Championship, for real. New York City is really fun. I would love to live here, honestly. If I had unlimited money, this would be a really good place to live. I like the fact that you can just go out at two times square at night and you can just have fun no matter what, even if you're alone and you're looking for something to do, just go out at Times Square and things will happen, you know? New York is pretty crazy. There's a lot of crazy people in New York. Uh, there's a lot of people. It's so beautiful. The place where we are is just insane. Not gonna lie. So far, uh, we didn't investigate it much. We moved around uh, through the Times Square uh, area. But so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. The pink here is better than in Mexico. The PCs are pretty, like, pretty good as well. They're better at least. I said overall better time here. But the food is, I wouldn't say the food is worse, but just getting to places where you can probably eat good food is like a lot harder here. So we are eating worse food for sure than Mexico. Pete, stop fucking talking to me. I know you love me and I'm your best friend, but like I need some free space as well. I can't, I can't be next to you all fucking day, okay? You have to be a bit more, I don't know how to say this in English, a bit more. How do you say? How do you say? I don't know. <laughs> independent? Yeah, independent. Did you know that left handed people are on average in more intelligent than right handed people? I don't know. Don't well, let me know. There's also, but they're also the most, best, least intelligent people. That's also a kind of thing though. No, I, I had that too. Can you edit the BMW? 
Yeah. It's hard, right? How's the ship doing? Oh, the ship. The ship is finally, you know, I, had, I could remove the band-aids and we could put some actual like wood, some metal, we could reinforce it. The ship is doing really good. Like, I think currently we're just having the time of our life. Like, I'm having so much fun with the guys. Uh, professionally, I feel damn good. We are living in the good days, for sure. <laughs> Maybe five, six K people waiting. It's 4K. It's so huge. It's like a 4K? Let it be 4K as well. Oh, I didn't bring it. It's gonna be fucking amazing. It's gonna be fucking insane. What a fucking honor to play the first game yet. <coughs> Everyone gonna tune in. The game's gonna be shit. Everyone is gonna turn off the whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fanatic room, oh, right? Oh shit, you're ready. That's fucked. I didn't know you have a six pack, Mark. You didn't know? No, I didn't know you. I've had it for many years. You know what's better than playing the first game? I think whatever you're about to say is not going to be useful, so... <laughs> playing the second. Playing the last game. <laughs> of the tournament, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Actually, that is true. That is very... That yeah, is very fine. You, you win that one. Good job, Elias. Okay. You won't be on stage, right? So I'll I can't be backstage. I can't respect what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. I'll be backstage. And I'll be I'll waiting be for you after the game, too. I'll be back. Stage? I'll be back. I'll be back. Remember with conviction, yeah? Always what you're doing ahead of time. And I want to fucking hear the conversation of, 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 about objectives ahead of time. I, I don't want, want to fucking people to slip it under our fucking rug. I want us to be fucking there on the Herald. And if it's contested, fight from the same fucking side. I'll Nothing else, yeah? from level one, actually. Fantastic. Seven minutes and 95 seconds, high response. From the, from the start until it spawns. And there's no way to lose it. I know it might not feel like it, but we are about to walk out to the main thing that unites us, yeah? The big fucking dream of playing on the world stage and fucking performing. Whatever your motivations are, whatever you draw strength from, this main idea is what unites us. Playing on this fucking world stage together. Wow. Everything that you guys want to get out of life, it comes out of this fucking moment, gentlemen. Own fucking three, yeah? We make it loud. Doesn't matter that we don't have loud side, don't have on stage, we do this other for us. Only for us. Own three, boys. <laughs> One, two, three, play! Let's go, boys. Oh, here we go! Coming down, Nature's Grasp, roots up too. Shelly gets off the charge, here comes Call of the Forge God. Throws Berserker flying in the air. He's looking for the bullet time, but the damage being done, and Sven is killed. Emperor's Divide, slide and glide. Humanoid takes down Blabber. Now all of a sudden there's the root connecting on a Jensen Moonlight Vigil. Plus the Inferno, not enough damage, Fnatic by two. Dragon is now being focused, being shunned. The engage is thrown out as Berserker gets a near full channel on the bullet time. Oh. Jensen. This port! Nice and he's already a double kill! Coming out of upset, turns his attention to Sven and Humanoid, picks that one up. Two members of Cloud9 Rings. I'm coming with a pillar. I can put a pillar. I can put a pillar. His throats are melted, they're shredded, they're destroyed, and Humanoid does one last Empress Divide for the show. The Nexus is focused down, and Fnatic turn their attention, they're not done yet. Kill them all as Fnatic win the first game of Group 122. Can I go to my players on stage or no, I guess. Can we? We can't. We can't. We can't. Any of us. Good shit, Jordan. I can't go on stage. Good job, good job. Take care. Bro, you're fucking smurfed. Really important. Really important. Alright, boys, give me some love. I can go on stage. Right? Good shit. I need to spank you a little bit, huh? Why? Splash W in with Marco. Is this right? It's uh, fine. fine. Please. It's I tell you, if, if your homies can't hit, what you do is fucking point it. Yeah? Good shit. Good job, Jordan. Come on. Really? This game was kind of boring, no? But if we don't do anything, we win, so... Yeah, they could go Like, if, if, we, if we lose a fight in Herald or something, they can snowball with Fiora. But if we don't fight them... Exactly. It's... Yeah. I wish you health. All the best. Your family, for you. Success in your life. Thank and you. everything that you wish for, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's so fucking happy with that. Really. Mm -hmm. You want for your birthday? I don't ever want to be disappointed again. When I see you start queue on the Raptors, Dude, you gotta learn that you e start queue. Okay? Oh, okay, but I'm so. I'm so
So the Cloud9 game, it was it was quite wild because like my, my visa was all messy and I could barely hear the boys during draft. Like I just had the, the headset and I could barely hear them. But uh, maybe that was a positive thing because the draft was, was crazy good. You know, I just could lock in the champions and they couldn't argue that much. We had a crazy composition that was very good against what C9 wanted to do. I think their composition was way too complicated to play. I think we have better players, better draft which means uh, easy dubs. They had a first seed coming from NA and we had a third seed coming from EU, so it's like there should be a mismatch, like it should be, we should be the underdogs coming into it, at least for game one of the tournament. Nobody really knows like how good every team is, but since they had a seed one and we had a seed three, we did EU a favor, I guess we took them out. I think we all knew uh, on the inside that we could beat uh, Cloud9 and that was not really like our only goal coming into the groups, we also wanted to well, make it out, right? So uh, it's kind of a given that we have to at least take out the uh, NA, I think, to, to make it out of groups. I wanted to beat them because of the rivalry, NA versus EU. It's like a revenge for my brother Joya too. Also, it's a really important win for, for us to get out of groups, so many reasons that I wanted to beat them. I remember one thing that I didn't like too much. When we did the opening ceremony, because we were the first game, we had to walk. Some people were like, woo, and then we're doing this. And I'm like, I thought it was like kind of disrespectful. Even though you support NA, you shouldn't like do that to the other team, right? Well, getting booed is always fun. It's like, this is the part of it. I don't think we got like more boos than cheers. So it's, uh, there's always fans like that. And it's that are like very loyal to their region. I actually think some some people were supporting us, but it was like 95-5, something like that. I think the venue itself is pretty good for group stage compared to in Mexico, where we were like sitting so crammed up together and we had like no space. Since my jungler is playing with like a doormat of a mouse pad, it was like going on the my keyboard as well and like my my hand was touching it all the time and it was just a disaster but here we actually have space people who want to push their monitors back they can push their monitors back so i think overall like the stage experience is a lot better here than what it was in in mexico and just in general yeah i mean it's uh, it's fun to play on stage. It feels really good actually. Playing without fans in the last two years was insanely boring and just took a lot away from the tournaments. So yeah, I mean finally playing with, uh, with people just makes it way more fun. Paparazzi everywhere. I've never lost the best of running against you. I have. Never I never lost them as a one But I've also won. I've never lost against Faker either. Yeah, I got to. You never played on this war. I didn't. <laughs> I've lost against Faker, I forgot. I was in Sandbox. Oh. Because. Oh, you went Korea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense, yeah. I forgot. Why I'll does AD carry Why are they so allergic to Lord Dominic's monster? Like why? Really smart. Is it because it doesn't look like it does as much damage <laughs> as it? AD carry is the easiest role in the game, of course they have no idea what to do. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's the, the role that builds the same items the most, they should get it right, no? And they were building the same items for 10 years, then they changed like, Woo! Collector! <laughs> 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 yeah, that's kind of true too, I guess. Depends on how you look at it. I mean, collect, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey boys! Hey, fucking T1, you, I hope you guys don't give a shit. It's very important. I don't want us to come to the realization when we are rewatching this game tonight. And oh! They were perfectly fucking beatable because they fucking are. Yeah? You guys are capable. It's in your own fucking hands. They're human. We're going to fucking break their legs today. We have a strategy on our mind and we're going to come at them in full fucking force. I don't care about the fucking nameplates and neither should you. The only nameplates I care about is the ones you fucking have. So fucking show to them what you're capable of. On fucking three, yeah? One, two, three, bang! Razor has to run back down to his lane. He's also a bit low on health. But look at Upset. Upset has already had to spend both his sums there. He gets chucked down and pushed back. Oh, yeah. Upset yeah. has done a whole lot more. Has to burn his own flash. Quinn can jump the wall. Goes for the stealth. What's going to be first? Yeah. Yeah. for an epidemic. Trade it back now to carry it. Will he hand it over? Double ups to Upset. Taking his advantage. Umayushi pops the old Upset. Yeah, for some. Underneath the tower. Fanatic. Scream. 
Wants to go in, goes in for the play. Stealth for now. Gonna be able to wait everything else out. TB coming back in for the Jax now. Does T1 find control? Razak not hit by the R2 out of Faker. Bubble gonna be sidestep, dives in. Started to the wall! And Razark says thank you for the goal! Maybe you belong there! Is they're gonna get one back? No wonder. Gets dropped. Humanoid stuck around, has to burn the flash. A flash in for the swollen body of owner. Will it happen? Razark turned in the guts of the wall. The one for one. They guaranteed smite. It's gonna be his. Baron's claim. The fight begins. Hillisong stays alive for now. They scoop back the jacks. Poppy interrupts him. And upset sends him to his grave. T1 has four and there against five and a Baron. Carrier just drops. Gets nothing no! done. Diego neither. And Fnatic continue. European domination. No! They're gonna get absolutely go! everyone. Faker just drops again. Hook means very, very little. Flash on the back line. Zayas gets nothing done. The cleanse, the tackle. And they knock down the top laner. No threat at all. Upset burns the cleanse and he's fine. Faker can't find his way in either. They get Nami. The scoop buys time. Perfect timing by Humanoid. And it's T1. Good shit, boys! Good shit! Good Good shit! Every single game, it's fucking easy. Good fucking shit, my man. I'm being so excited. I'm being so excited. Vamos, you Dude, you can just flash forward. All three flashes in this game were forward. Like, flash bubble, you know? Always, yeah. Chris, 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 Chris. Give me Akali. I'm so sorry, champions. I want Akali. It's okay. Very proud of you guys winning. Crazy. Holy shit, I'm so that was fucking good. I don't know, the situation is like the pause was kind of tragic. Yeah. Because it was good for us to trade, but he did freeze, so it's perfectly fair, you know? Yeah, we're getting crispy even after the pause. He just played all his man. Yeah, the fucking crit on <laughs> the kill on Aphelios was crazy. <laughs> I knew he would dash, I just gave him both spells and they bounced. You need no electricity if you play that good machine. It was insane. Uh, uh, what we've been through this fucking year, man. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Kadi. I'm good. He won. <laughs> what kind of Everyone's beat the boss. That was the truth. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Our <laughs> best game so far, no? <coughs> it was bleed, or one of those for sure, no? Nobody was the boss hype. We played like yeah. fucking gods. <laughs> we didn't even aim. <laughs> no, we played so like... Like, you know? Yeah, I felt like too. This was a very spicy game. So really love to play those very complicated compositions, but they have like the firepower and their players to to be able to to pull it off. We've been watching T1 the whole year, so this this is a team that we've been paying very close attention to. Their weaknesses and their strengths became very evident, and uh, their strengths are still damn scary. I felt pretty confident going into the game. We also had a pretty good early game, so I kind of knew it was one after eight minutes in the game or something. We did and like respect them like they were gods because they are not gods they are human we showed that if we play good we can be better than them or even that game we my opinion had better draft and we punish well their mistakes i'm also very happy because i checked that uh, faker like his story is like really insane win rate at worlds and he lost like 28 games in the in, in his life i'm happy that i'm one of these games in my first game against him i gave him a l <laughs> we are looking forward, uh, of course, to the next match, but the first game was, uh, was a brilliancy. It feels damn good to, to, to beat T1. Hmm? Is Yumi open? Yumi is open, yeah. You think they will cross pick now or They could, yeah. Like, I don't... I, 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 I can't play with guarantees. I think if they are Yumi team, they will probably cross pick Yumi. Like, they played a lot of Yumi in playoffs, right? Like, uh, they played a shit ton of Yumi. 
but they ever wanted. Make sure we move together when we play. Yes, like yeah. Great okay. This is the uh, line. Yeah. Always somewhat to think. Yeah. This is ruler. Oh my god! It is him. <laughs> the world champion himself. And LCK champion. Uh, hello. hello, hello. Oh my god, he said hello. Boys. By the way, I always do this when we. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Marek. So I just want to let you guys know, yeah? Complacency is the fucking killer of progress. It's very important that we stay sharp, boys. Very important that we stay sharp. Focus up today, only the fucking game ahead of us. Let's fucking break their knuckles and their bones and everything else in their body, yeah? On fucking three. One, two, two three, break! Oh, Benek, this could backfire very quickly. Will they stop it, Gregas? Going in, he's another one, so incredibly strong. He's been pulled back to the team. Exhaust already going down. One Yumi spell taken out, but upset forced to cleanse away. In the meantime, big damage from the center of the boomerang. Mako and the Yumi will have the sustain. Here comes your horn. All no, fishing for Scout, trying to take down the victor before the fight even starts. Now looking to knock back the rest of the team, but Razork is interrupted on the poppy charge. Scout still able to lay down the ultimate Flandra off to the side. Could just be the next on the list. Hillisang getting thrown in the bailout now coming out, but he will not survive. Flandra getting cut down as well. Running, he's so damn tanky, but he will still drop. Fnatic now turning back onto the dragon. Huge pick for Fnatic. They take down Scout. No Azir, two person. Disadvantage for EDG. Get around, wonder if I'm gonna go. Can I get the shutdown of the Viper? This could be everything. Razor now gonna come back. Viper still standing. The damage from the sever. So incredibly tanky, knockback, Wonder now isolated, dashing back out to safety, unstoppable for at least a brief moment, he knows he needs to ult, knockback, huge from Razor. Maybe now they can turn Yumi strapped to the back of Flandre, he will be fine. Viper pushing forward on the hunt used, Hillisang forced to use the ultimate, but no effect, he's just gonna get burned down, upset on the side, upset the last source of damage, but JJ's already landed the kick, he's gonna go in, he's gonna fish for it, upset, flashing out, oh! JJ just outplays, he expects the flash, he anticipates, and now Viper can clean house. Taking a lot of damage, the cast is big, the rest of Fnatic now we're treating though. Alti cooldown down. down. Razor gonna use Flandre as a highway to make it back out. They're fishing for the knockup. Ornault now coming in. He's unstoppable. He's gonna throw it back. He's gonna knock up too. Viper knocked up on the backside. But the Yumi ult is big. The damage is big. Flandre not taking down yet. Razor getting shredded through. Humanoid still standing for now, but the Victor ult does so much damage. Upset now chasing. Upset looking for the reset. He needs a kill. He needs the kill. He can't. He will not be bailed out. He will be shut down. EDG taking the fight. Fnatic fought back where they could, but EDG from start to finish, controlling this game. They will find the win, they will tie up the score, both teams at two and one. Actually, yeah, probably this game is a normal game from the beginning and probably we will have one, so that is positive read from this. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Man. That's fine yeah. that's fine. Hey, boys. Well fought, yeah? That's fine, man. Well fought, well fought. 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 Well the moment they pick Ragas, I should say that he will commit it. I mean, I said it before, that yeah, he could go for it. I told yeah. when I spotted him, maybe he was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not the only invitation is, so happy you're when also you there, you. but... It's hmm? like we decide the game a minute to regardless. I mean, I think, I think like the same we did against the Lions. Uh, we yeah. should have known when we see it, the, how they were posturing uh, because they use Victor Flash and then we saw Celir there dancing around. Yeah. It's so obvious that Elise is there too with, yeah. with someone but because they don't win. I mean, I think they just I moving the moment Victor went. But I think that's what. Uh, yeah, I mean that's what I said. I guess. But from all things considered, I'm very happy like considering this stuff. It's like sure there's things that we can clean up, but. Now we have we have a couple of days to, to reassess and to, to take it easy. Hi boys. Don't kill each other, yeah? It was a fun game, yeah? yeah. I'm great. Well, really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can make it out of groups of two wins. <laughs> oh it was this fight. Yeah. Marek Smurf is on. So insane actually. Marek was fisting. <laughs> oh, the Victor, the last ult uh, killed you. Yeah. I mean, there so was one Drake the fight, one where we contested Drake, where Victor ult just actually roasted all of you. You yeah. actually just all got fucked by Victor ult, chasing. Yeah, 
against DDG, we had a really, really bad level one. Enemy team read us good. I don't think it was too hard to read us, honestly. But we also thought that we were gonna be stronger than we were. But they also sent five people there. We kind of underestimated the, their strength level one and we got fucked. Yeah, so level one, I was farming mid lane, perfect CSing, <laughs> just chilling. Suddenly I see that enemy server has a double kill. Yeah, I don't know. What can I say, you know? I wasn't even looking at what was happening there, so I have no idea. <laughs> we started laughing like, okay guys, it's gonna be a hard one, but no one really felt bad. It was not really like that much individual related. It was mainly just like the low one going uh, poorly. And then after that, I think we outplayed them quite hard actually. I think if one or two team fights went a bit different, we could have actually won. I think it was a pretty decent game from us considering the circumstances we were in. We were on the back foot, but I'm still very proud of what the boys managed to, to do within the game. We fought back very well. So we're in a group with former world champions. So I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we managed to, you know, get in there, get some stuff done, uh, actually have a competitive game. I'm honestly feeling good about the, the next Thursday. Hopefully we don't have a bad day because we play all three matches in the same day. And if we have a bad day, it's terrible, right? I think we should be able to, to manage to win at least two out of three games. And then we can maybe get out of group stage. I think it will be pretty nice in my first walls with all these circumstances in Mexico, we make it far. <laughs>